Hello, this is Luciana Turkovich, winemaker of Turkovich Family Wine, and today we're doing tasting with toddlers. Okay, come on, helper. We have two helpers today. One is Antonia. Antonia, how old are you? And the other helper is Anita. Today we will be tasting Syrah Bionier. We are talking today about the Syrah Viognier. We had a few requests of people asking why Syrah Viognier? Viognier is a white wine. Do you guys, what do you guys do? Put some Viognier before bottling. What do you guys do? Syrah Viognier is a cold fermentation wine. What that means? We leave yes. the Viognier mm -hmm, a little bit longer in the vineyard. No. I'm not going to do something my baby and do something my baby. <laughs> okay, Anna, Anna, bring your babies, bring your babies, Anna. No, we can't. Hi, this is a little and name is to my babies. Okay, okay, <laughs> what do we do? We leave the vineyard in the vineyard a little bit longer. And we harvest Sira and Bionier at the same time. 5% of Bionier and, and my 95. Turn. No, my turn. Okay, 95% of Syrah. 9, 10, and 9 babies is chalk. I need that my baby should not get in the fall. No. And it is a new way that my baby comes in the fall. <laughs> and yeah, they will miss it, maybe take it down. Okay. <laughs> when we harvest those two grapes, we bring this to the winery and both they get crushed together and fermented together. Why we harvest a little bit of white Mommy, grapes? Mommy, wait. My turn. You say why my babies are not in the fall and the beer are not in the fall and that's not in the fall and neither are not in the fall and me not in the fall <laughs> and the, all the mornings. Okay. See, we, we do the harvest in the morning, how Antonia said. <laughs> 5% of that Viognier is getting crushed in that uh, syrup and both they get fermented together. Why we choose that Viognier syrup? The components of the Viognier help with the stabilization of the color in the syrup. Plus, they add some other characters to the wine. Both of those they go after harvest and after they are done pre with the fermentation. We press those and we keep those in 33% of that they go to a new American oak and a 10% of that they go to a European oak and they will age for two years. Okay, let's taste it. No, mommy. Solo mommy. Wait, 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 my um We can, the first component that I can find is a, a dark chocolate and some yeah, yeah. red berries. Actually, they smell like a, those cherry covered yeah. chocolate, dark chocolate covered cherry candy. Mm. can taste more like a blackberries going in, a little bit of flowers, I will say some violets. Normally the flower component is a bring by the Viognier. They had a really nice acidity and they leave you, they stay in the mouth gently and we had really soft tannins. That acidity is asking to keep drinking. This wine it can go better with barbecue. Pretty good for the summer day. Hopefully we can enjoy that soon outside with friends. Wow. 
favorite color? Shoe. Which one is your favorite wine? Rojo. Rojo. Woohoo! Oh. Do you want the strawberry ice cream that I made? Yes, I need to like that. I one. need to like that one. I want to. <gasps> Whoa. Good. It's our Silvio Nier, and um, it's our first wine in our segment. It's called Tasting with Toddlers. Cheese.